Happening this week, AARP Alabama and the Fortitude Foundation will host a free Shred-a-thon event and they want to see you out there. Joining us live this morning is event manager Ann Hales. Ann, thanks for joining us. Hey, for those you. folks who are interested in coming, what kind of documents can they bring? What should they bring? They should bring any kind of documents that have their identity on them, their name on it, their address on it, those things that are um, uh, and I wrote these down so I'd make sure that I'd have those. Those things are like have account numbers on them. Uh, uh, bank statements, bank credit statements, cards, credit cards, card statements. any of those kind of things that they want to get rid of. Their um, old tax forms, those kind of things. But be sure you save those for at least seven years. Absolutely. Just in case so. you get audited, you need that information on hand. Yeah. But, you know, I often hold on to these documents because I don't need them necessarily, but I'm afraid to throw them away because of identity theft. How important is this sort of thon to protecting your identity? Well, it, it's very important. We, we do tend to hold on to those papers and we hold on to them for a long time. Um, sometimes we do it a little bit at a time at home, but a lot of us like me, we like to just save it up and, and then they take up space. You need to get rid of that to, uh, to protect your identity because it's very easy for somebody to get your uh, information. They just have to get that information, maybe a social security number, or maybe an address, something like that. They can steal it so quickly and then they sell that information to other people, to other thieves, and it's, it's very quick. And then once they do that, it can be uh, a year or more to even clear that up. Mm -hmm. It takes so. a long time to clear that up and it is a big headache mm -hmm. and you want to help folks avoid that even if you're not throwing those documents in the trash and they're just lying around your house. Somebody could grab it there as well so it's so important to actually shred those so folks cannot get their hands on it. Is there a limit to how many documents they can bring? They can bring two bags or two boxes and when we say bags these are bags that people can easily lift so volunteers will be there. It's a drive through volunteers will take it straight from your car so if you can uh, make it easy for them to be able to lift it from your car, not too heavy. Um, so two bags or two boxes. Be sure that it's just paper, no metal. Take out those metal clips if you can. Uh, no notebooks. Some people like to just throw notebooks in. The notebooks tend to have those big metal things in them. So be sure that you take all of those things out. And it's this Friday at Eastdale Mall from 8 to noon. And thank you so much for joining us. I hope a lot of folks take advantage of this. Thank you. And I want to shout out to the Fortitude Foundation helping us with that and the Clean City Commission too because this is all a, a, an effort that we're all putting together. Yeah. It's a joint effort. Thanks again. Coming up here on Alabama.